<coughs> oh, man. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, I was having a conversation with my son, right? Because my son tries to figure out, um, like he has a thing with trying to figure out people, right? And I try to explain to him that we can't attempt to figure out why people do what they do. Why do people do what they do, right? We can't figure that out. It's not for us to figure out because we don't know why they do what they do, right? So what I tried to explain to him was um, don't own it. You can't own it. You can't own what they do. Um, you can't own how they act. The only thing you can do is adjust your reaction to it. Adjust um, your reaction to it and never accepting it again. Never accepting if somebody hurts you, if somebody does something shysty, if somebody looks to be disrespectful, hurtful, whatever it is. Adjust your reaction to it, but never let it happen again. Because he'll constantly ask um, why this, why that, or who did this, or who did that. He does that, and I love him for it because he has, he has an angel's heart, you know, and I love him for that. So I try to talk with him and, and speak with him and try to get him to understand we can't figure people out. We can't figure out why they do what they do. But the one thing we can do, adjust our reaction to it, and then never let it happen again. If that means that you keep people away from you or a particular person who likes to do certain things, you keep them away. You keep them away from you. You don't become hateful. You don't tit for tat. You don't eye for an eye it. You don't do that. You just keep them away from you. And your distance and your silence will be the message to that person. And if they don't get it that way, then you let them know. You were wrong. But you did hurt me. And I don't have to let you back into my life ever again. You know, so we can't try to figure out people. We can't unscrew the tops of their heads and try to, you know, figure them out. And I try to go through that. I try to help my son with it because he's very pensive and he thinks and he thinks a lot. So I'm just trying. But um, I wanted to share that with y'all because I know that a lot of us have things done to us that we don't understand. Things that are hurtful, you know. And then we can get caught up in wondering why and, and, and take time from ourselves and it's almost like we get into a bad place trying to figure out why they did what they did. They did what they did because they don't care. They did what they did because they don't think about your feelings. So to them, it's okay. So it's okay for you to cut them off. It's okay for you to say never again. That's all I wanted to share. It's okay. If you're going through something and, and if you have somebody who did something to you or does something to you on a consistent basis, it's okay to cut them off. It's okay to say never again. And it's okay to stay distant from them. That's it. All right. That's all I wanted to share with y'all. Love you guys. God bless you guys. Have a great day. And uh, please share. All right. Thank you. Love you. God bless. Thanks.